All right, what's going on, guys? Trap back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing somewhat of an arcade playthrough. I thought it would be fun. A little bit of retro action for us to play through the original arcade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. So I'm very excited to see the Shredder's Revenge game that's going to be coming out uh, pretty soon, still in development. I think they just uh, showed some Splinter uh, gameplay, which is really sweet. And I thought, why don't we go back and play uh, some Turtles in Time, baby? So we got. The Turtles Arcade uh, here, a uh, custom arcade that uh, went ahead and uh, and made, and we got uh, Turtles in Time uh, loaded up here. So, he said it. All right, so who are we going to go with? I say, so we got the blue stick on this side, and then we got like a, a, or a yellowish orange here for Mikey. So I think we're going to go with uh, Leo. Yeah. This is April Hey, Bring that back, you bag, you bag. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Crank has stolen the Statue of Liberty, my friends. That means no liberty for you. So we have to defeat him. So we can have the Statue of Liberty back. Yeah. <laughs> now I played this game, I have to admit, I played this game so many times when I was younger, uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, I had it on Super Nintendo cartridge and either the cartridge got wet in a flood or something, it was in the basement, or my system stopped working, something happened and I was not able to play it after that. I don't know if I played it so many times, something you know went wrong or something, but uh, maybe moisture in the basement or something. So yeah, this game is so much fun, so awesome. I like the original um, Turtles Arcade game too, but not nearly as much as uh, Turtles in Town. We do have that on this uh, system as well but I don't play it that often. I'm actually trying to think, I don't know if I ever beat the original arcade game. Maybe I didn't because it's just, um, you know, it's, uh, it, I, I feel like it's a little bit more difficult than this one actually, some ways. At least it depends on, like if you're playing at, a, at an arcade, it depends on the side just crying in the background. <laughs> Bring back the Statue of Liberty Crank. Crank's Android. I always thought the Android, Crank's Android, looked so ridiculous. Like, I, I just, I guess it was the 80s, so it was like one of those things, but it's like, did anybody notice how ridiculous Crank's Android looked? Like, it doesn't look like a person at all. It looks like, I don't know, it, <laughs> it, just, it doesn't look right whatsoever. It's like, like if, if Crank was like wearing a trench coat walking down the street, uh, he could never get away with like people thinking that's actually a human, just, just, just saying. But then again, the turtles will wear disguises too and get away with it all the time. Well, not every time. Sometimes people would notice in the cartoon. I used to hate Baxter, man. There's a figure version of this uh, Baxter as well, uh, which nobody seems to want, I don't think, because probably because uh, this character is really annoying too to beat. He's got like this weird gun hand thing that comes at you and like pushes you and stuff. Really annoying and really weird to fight against. There we go. Womp, womp, womp. There it is. The hand thing. I don't even know what that is. Like, what is that? I, it looked way worse on Super Nintendo, I think. Maybe it was just my TV I had. But I, I don't think I ever understood when I was younger, like, what exactly that even was. I thought it was like a, maybe like a Ghostbusters plasma thing or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think they did one of this, was it reshelled they did? I never played reshelled though. And it's actually kind of hard to get. I, I don't think it got very good reviews either. So, yeah. So cool. And you can hit the things, right? I'm trying to remember. You can hit, couldn't you hit? No, no, you can't. I thought you could. 
Oh, I used to love that when you throw them at the screen. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Let's go. Woo. Now you can grab them and throw them at the throw them at the screen. I used to love doing that. I was like, oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Um, I wonder if you can do. I'm not sure if you can do that in a Simpsons game too, because it's a Simpsons arcade game also, which I've also never beaten. Um, boom! There we go. So sweet. Some of my favorite games to play on arcade still. This one obviously is like one of my favorites. Um, I also like Marvel's Capcom. Uh, Marvel's Capcom 2 we got in the system too, which is really fun. I love Marvel's Capcom 2. Really, really a lot of fun. Really a great one. All the Versus series is good. Pac-Man, classic stuff like that is fun. remember that robot for some reason. Was that in the Super Nintendo version? Maybe it was. I don't know. I can't even remember, man. So long ago. At the front here, we got the uh, Figure Arts Turtles. Um, absolutely love these, uh, these figures here. These are my favorite, probably my favorite turtle figures ever made. A different uh, uh, foot ninja. Okay, we need to get that pizza. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm not sure. Did the I'm not sure if the game came out before the third movie, because I remember the third movie is kind of like Turtles in Time, right? As well, they did something like it. Uh, I feel like it wasn't as good as the game. At least not for me anyway. Um, I go back to feudal Japan and whatnot. It's still pretty good. Like I, I still enjoy the third movie in its own way. I don't think it's as good as the first two, but uh, all right. <laughs> Metal head. Who are you calling slime ball? Robot? I don't know. Face? Loaded meat bag? There you go. That's Oh, we're going to lose them. The bosses are so hard in this game. Good thing we have unlimited coins, dude, so otherwise this would get embarrassing. I lose pretty quickly. And I went to uh, here in town. I checked out a couple years ago our movie, because we have a couple movie theaters here, which used to have arcades in them. But uh, unfortunately now the arcades are empty. So they're just like... You know, I think there's like a couple of games where you can like win like popcorn type games or like the claw game, that's it. But as far as like video games like this, they don't have any of them anymore. I was like, oh man, that's unfortunate because I used to love them. They had, uh, one time they had Marvel's Capcom 2. They never had Turtles at uh, my local uh, arcade, so I could only play it on Super Nintendo where I live. But uh, yeah, they had a bunch of arcades, they had like 10 to 15 of them. And uh, they got rid of all of them. They're, they're all gone now. It's just like uh, games, uh, different, you know, drop quad games and stuff like that nowadays. So unfortunate. So much fun. Almost done. It's turning yellow now. That's how you know that uh, it's all set. There we go. Oh, a jump kick. It's pretty sweet. He never did that in the animated series. <laughs> That I can remember anyway. Wow, bosses in this game are tough, man. He's he's whooping us, dude. Baxter was no problem, but Metalhead's like, I don't know, man. We're having a tough time with Metalhead. There we go. We'll put in some coins just in case, right? Boom. Calabunga. Oh, the pizza monster. Yeah. Oh, this is the my toe, my toe. Let's see if I can get through. Ah, oh, I already got one. <laughs> For some reason, when I was younger on Super Nintendo, I felt like it. It didn't sound like he said they, they said my toe. It it sounds like to me it always sounded like they said like Rito or something like that. Like I don't know if maybe the uh, the sound file they had to, like to fit it on the cartridge they had to, like adjust the sound file or something, or maybe that was just in my mind and I was just I don't know. 
but I was I always thought it sounded like Rito, not Mito. So you can hear it there. It's not you know it's not it's clearly Mito there. So I I don't know. Oh. There it is. Pizza monster. No. It's so sweet. Also that they included like characters like that from the. Uh, cartoon, right? Because there was never, I, I don't think there was ever a Playmates figure for the Pizza Monsters. There they are. Not that I can remember anyway. Um, there's the Pizza Monsters. That episode was awesome though. I, I think I had that episode on uh, VHS. One of the VHS episodes that, uh, that I had was the Pizza Monster uh, episode. I used to love that one, man. Awesome. I think NECA is making figures of, uh, well, they've made some for the video games. I haven't, I haven't kept up with collecting all the video game figures, the sets and everything they release, because um, it's difficult to ship them where I live here in Canada, but they are really cool. I like the video game ones. We got the uh, NECA, uh, I guess it's a Super Shredder or Video Game Shredder, um, which is really sweet. I think from the end of this game, actually, or from close to it anyway, because he sort of, when we face Shredder later on, he kind of has a couple couple modes, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. I thought about putting a coin door on this, but uh, I never uh, never got around to it. Um, I suppose I still could do it, but then you got to kind of wire it into the system so that when you put a coin in, it gives you the credit in the, uh, in the game which uh, I don't know if I want to wire one in, because sometimes I like to change the system. This system's like an old uh, old computer system that uh, I have from like, I don't know how many years ago. I think it's Vista, so it's gotta be like 15 years old. I fixed it like a few times, because um, different components in the system blew out, like uh, ports on the motherboard and stuff. So I just fix it each time. It still runs like, this, this many years later. Shredder. Oh no! Oh man! Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. So sick. Dinosaurs, dudes. Gotta love the dinosaurs, man. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. You got it, man. They should have done a Turtles movie instead of Japan. They should have gone back to uh, ancient uh, prehistoric times with dinosaurs. The Turtles and dinosaurs. That would have been awesome. But the budget would have been a lot. They probably would have lost a bunch of money. So maybe it's <laughs> not such a good idea. But I mean, Turtles and dinosaurs is just money. I mean, everyone would have wanted to see that. Rock Soldiers. Darn Crank. Oh, I used to hate those things, the, the dropping from the ceiling rocks. Did they release a figure of the bomb, the bomb foot soldiers? I don't think they did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did. I don't know. So sweet. I've been thinking of doing some uh, reviews for the uh, Turtles episodes, like some of the 80s Turtles episodes, like Turtle Tracks and stuff, the first, uh, the first Turtles episode of the uh, cartoon series, animated series, really good ones. Now I know they definitely did not do a figure of these uh, foot soldiers, the green ones without bow, bow and arrow. Foot soldiers riding velociraptors. Is that what that is? I think it's a raptor. Awesome. <laughs> I 
I know they have uh, figures of, of those ones, Playmates, uh, classic figures of the uh, dinosaur, uh, dinosaur turtles. Oh, there we go. Pizza time, yeah. We're doing well on this level. There it is. Who is this one? I don't even remember which, which boss this one is. Can't even remember. Here we go. Is it a mud? It's like Clayface or something. Like it's exactly like Clayface. <laughs> like he even looks like Clayface. I don't know what this guy's name is. I think maybe for the uh, Super Nintendo version, it was a different, uh, I think it was a different character that you face at this level of this part. I don't remember exactly. Kind of a strange choice, because you're going back, wouldn't, wouldn't it make more sense to fight like a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something? Or like um, one of the villains riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex? That would be kind of cool. There we go, we got him good here, guys. In the corner for a bit, boom. Turtles. Yeah. yeah. See, the levels on this one compared to the first game are really, really awesome. I think. I just everything they do. I wonder why they never made a third one. Step in the wrong parts.
Now these ones were different, I know for a fact. So in the Super Nintendo version, instead of Toka and Razar, it was Bebop and Rocksteady. Because I know because they're doing the NECA uh, pirate versions of those. Which doesn't really matter. I did think it was strange though that in the movie, for some reason, they did Toka and Razar instead of Bebop and Rocksteady. It kind of would have been a no-brainer to do Bebop and Rocksteady. I don't know why they did that. Maybe to sell action figures or something? Maybe to have something different. Maybe they felt like if they did another version, people wouldn't want the same figures again or something? Maybe that's why I'm not sure. I'm making that up. I have no idea. <laughs> This game is hard. I don't know if there's skill, like if there's like an actual skill, you know, you can actually use against the bosses. I guess it might be like trying to avoid them and then knowing when to strike and then like avoiding them again and then going after them again. Maybe that's the idea, but I just, I don't know. I always did it this way. I <laughs> just mash them, die a bunch and then, you know. Because don't they switch attacks? Like, see, that's the thing. Sometimes they charge you. And then... So how do you make it... Yeah, jumping maybe, maybe helps with it. Oh, man. I gotta, like, evade. Yeah. We're almost gone. They're both lighting up right now. Which one's gonna go down first? I always felt like Toka was probably the lesser of the two. Razor, oh, Razor goes down first, can you believe it? And Toka's almost, oh man. I spoke too soon, dudes. There it is. Boom. Leatherhead? Now, I gotta be honest with you dudes. I do not like Leatherhead for some reason. I don't know why, I just don't. Like as a character, I just don't like him. I don't like the figures of him. I don't like his character in the uh, animated series. I never liked him. I always liked the punk frogs more and I was like, oh, I always hated him so much. Whereas, I did like the Rat King for some reason. I don't know why. It's cool, maybe because of what happened with Splinter and stuff in the, uh, the episode. Where he like takes over uh, Splinter's mind for a bit. That's pretty sweet. Splinter having to face the turtles is kind of awesome. You know, just for a minute, that is. What's that other game? What's that game called? That cowboy game? I don't even know the name of that one. I don't think I ever played that one. A Konami game. I'm not sure what I'm thinking of. Strike hard and fade away. Oh wow, I didn't see those actually. Those ones got me. Oh 
That weird sound is a horse occasionally. Boom. Into the screen. Buttons are uh, and the joystick are. Uh, I think they're called Sanwa. That's what it is. Jap Japanese. They make like the best um, buttons uh, for arcades. I guess. Yeah. At least in my opinion. Not that I've tried every single one out there. But Freaking bazooka. Okay, I think Leatherhead's coming up right now, dudes. It's coming in. I can feel it. He's gonna do that creepy thing where he kind of changes to where he like uh, charges at you. You know what I mean? There he is. And he uses like an unlimited number of knives, which is just not fair. I have to ask, where is he keeping all these knives that he's throwing and stabbing? Stab, stab, stab. See? Keep sticking me with the damn thing. It's a good thing I have uh, God Mode Unlimited Coin Hacking. So. <laughs> Yeah, see the creepy thing he does where he runs into alligator mode or crocodile mode or whatever the hell he is. What a prick. How dare you run into me like that. Oh man. Almost got him. Oh, what a pain. There we go. That was a good combo on him right there. Kick me. So, like, is it possible? That's what I'm wondering. Like, is it possible to get good enough at this game where um, they the bosses can't touch you? Like, you can actually, you know, evade the bosses. I don't know. Whoa. All right, now we're getting pretty far, dudes. Oh yeah, I think the last, what, a couple more after this, the last couple levels, something like that. We're into the, uh, what is this, future? How come we don't have these yet, if this is the future? Huh, we got the bright lights and the colors and stuff, we got that. I want a hoverboard. What the hell, turtles? Where's my hoverboard, damn it? False advertising. I want a sweet green and blue one just like that. Although, a helicopter with a machine gun on it would also be acceptable, I suppose. However, I don't think in real life you can use those because they can blow out your knees when you land. <laughs> Oh, we got pizzas. Damn it, I missed them. Darn it. Why didn't you guys tell me the pizzas were going to be there? It's all your fault. No, oh, I'm getting crushed here. Okay, there we go. We got them there. Put it up, 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 up. I missed everybody with that uh, spinning. There we go. I got there. 
pin and shit. God damn it. There we go. What does that sign say? Dudes, see ya. He's coming. Oh man. Hey, how come Super Crank sounds the same as Leonardo? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> rockets out of his mouth, damn it. Okay, we almost got it. There we go. Okay. I'm trying to remember, is the next level Shredder? I don't think quite yet. Close. sense that the bosses would get more difficult as you get through the game until you run out of all your quarters. <laughs> These guys are annoying with the um, throwing things. The uh, yellow ones. They're like a yellow mustard orange type thing. There we
There we go. We did pretty good against them there. Now watch the damn things come back. Darn it. Sorry guys, we gotta do it. <laughs> Freezing Ray. Be a crossover, Mr. Freeze is gonna be. That'd be cool. There is a Batman 89 uh, arcade game, but it's not very good. I don't know if you guys ever played it. With the Joker and stuff. It's not a good game though. The mechanics are like all, I don't know. It just doesn't, uh, it's okay I guess. I don't know. Although I do love Batman 1989 also. The game just is frustrating and really, really tricky. I think there's a Batman Forever one too, which is also terrible, just like the movie is. <laughs> Boom. I actually don't know how to do that. You know the grab thing where we, uh, where we grab and we throw? I'm not sure how that uh, how that comes about. Is it a distance thing or something, or is it random? I'm not sure how it's programmed in. Oh man, he's got a flamethrower. Where's my flamethrower? like in this one the colors are really nice and vibrant like even the turtles themselves and the arcade game like it doesn't look in my opinion uh, the first one doesn't look anywhere near as good as this one does not even close the turtles even the turtles themselves don't look as good yeah let me get you crank now this is a cool thing that NECA could consider doing for uh, arcade is uh, Krang in the uh, in this vehicle, whatever this is called. That would be kind of cool, actually. I might be interested in that if they did that one. They won't, I don't think. Because I think the arcade line they're doing is starting to come to an end now. So I think they did like most of the characters that, uh, you know, they pretty much know everybody's gonna wanna get. And after that, you know, because you don't need more than like, Unless you really, really love turtles, which I do also anyway, but um, unless you're a completist, like, you probably don't need different versions of, you know, the different, uh, all the different villains, let's say, for example. Like, they did a, uh, was it an arcade version of Leatherhead? Is that what it is? And then there's the cartoon version, so you can get, like, if you really want to, you can get both, but they're, they're very similar anyway. I almost think, like, maybe choose one and just go with that. Like either you get the NECA cartoon series version or the movie, maybe the movie. Maybe getting both of those makes sense because they're so different. But the arcade, the arcade versions of their, their figures and stuff is like, um, you know, it's, it's very similar to the cartoon series. So having both, I don't know if it really makes sense. Uh, like I said, if you really, if you really love it, then okay. It makes sense then, but or if you're trying to get every single one they're doing, but that's going to be a rare person that does that usually. I wish I could still get the reshelled version of this game. Maybe they'll re-release it at some point, which would be good. Nickelodeon, you guys should get on that. Uh, re-release this game as well. Shredder's Revenge looks awesome, but do something with this. Even though I actually. To be honest, the graphics of this game, though, they do stand up really well over time because they're done in cartoon style. So it doesn't really look dated to me. Like, it still looks good even for now um, because it's like a cartoon animated style. So it can work in any time period. If you can play this in 10 years, it still look good because it's, it's that type of cartoon style that looks good no matter when. There we go. We got them. Oh. 
the Technodrome. All right, yeah, the final shell shock. This is it, dudes. Last level, man. Last level. Oh, there he is. There's the man, Orokusaki. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. I don't think so. Awesome. There's the Statue of Liberty, guys. Gotta rescue him. Yeah. Oh, that was good jumping. He got his back with one. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's got a lightsaber. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. It's like as if, as if uh, Shredder wasn't badass enough already. Now he has a green Luke Skywalker lightsaber. to the arcade by yourself how many quarters you would need to get this far in the game and actually beat the game unless you're like really good or something which I honestly don't know how you could get like how you could get that good at it maybe like this you gotta get better at dodging and then just take your hits here and there like that yeah okay and then you gotta get back oh he still got us <laughs> yeah you jump yourself okay now let's get out of the way all right there we go Okay, that messed him up, I think. Okay, now. Oh, damn it. See, it's... <laughs> oh, no, I suck at this game. Sorry, guys. It's just is what it is. It's not my type of game. Marvelous Capcom 2, I can beat with one, even on hard expert mode. I could do it with one uh, playthrough, usually. With one uh, dollar, it would cost usually to play that one. But not this game, man. Now, question is, we got two. Oh, we got one life left. Never mind. <laughs> I'd have better buy more. I was gonna say maybe we can do it with five, five lives. We can beat the shredder, right, by ourselves. But nope, we can't. <laughs> he does too much deeps, and he throws ghosts at us, and he has a lightsaber. Damn it, man. Much improved. I never saw this in the animated series. He never had a lightsaber, so far as I can remember. Special swords, yes. Lightsabers? No. Don't think so, either. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tomb, tomb, tomb. Oh. Almost. Almost. Almost got it, dudes. That's almost a game. It's gonna happen, you know it. Jump kicking and then getting back. Yeah, jump kick. Oh, he still countered it. Maybe you gotta mix it up or something. There we go. Yeah. That's it, dudes. That is the game. We got the credits rolling. There's the turtles, ready to rock. Leonardo wins, saves the day. Wanna thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to go ahead and thumb it up below. Leave a comment, let me know what was one of your favorite retro games. This one is probably my favorite of all time, absolutely. Hope you guys liked it, hope you had fun. And if you wanna see another game, leave a comment, let me know which one, subscribe. And I'll see you guys again soon. Cowabunga dudes.